Welcome to Blur. In today's video, we will talk about the best Yenko Chevrolet muscle cars. These are some of the most impressive cars on the road, and we can't wait to show you what they can do. So, subscribe to us now, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's start. 5. 1970 Yenko Deuce Nova Based on the Nova SS, the 1970 Yenko Deuce Nova was a special edition performance car made by Chevrolet dealer Don Yanko. Just over 200 Deuce Novas were made in 1970, making it a rare and collectible car. If you are lucky enough to own one or are thinking about buying one, here are some interesting facts about this classic muscle car. The Deuce Nova was named for its engine size, a 350 cubic inch V8 with 360 horsepower. This was a big improvement over the Nova SS, which had a smaller engine. Yanko also added some cosmetic touches like special striping and badging. Even though the Deuce Nova was only made for one year, its legacy lives on today. These cars are highly sought after by collectors and performance enthusiasts alike. If you're lucky enough to find one, you'll have a real piece of muscle car history in your hands. 4. The Yanko AC Stage 2 The Yanko AC Stage 2 is based on the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. It has a new front fascia, rear diffuser, and side skirts, among other changes to its exterior. Also, the car has a unique hood with a working hood scoop. The Yanko AC Stage 2's interior has also been updated. It has new seats, a new center console, and a new set of gauges. Only 50 Yanko AC Stage 2 cars will be made for the 2022 model year. Each car will be numbered and come with a special Yanko Certificate of Authenticity. The price of the Yanko AC Stage 2 is $295,000. If you had the chance to buy one, I can only tell you to buy number 3. 3. 1969 Capo 427 Chevelle Supercar Chevrolet made the Copo 427 Chevelle Supercar in 1969. It was a special version of the Chevelle that was made for speed. It had a powerful V8 engine with 427 cubic inches that could make up to 425 horsepower. The Copo 427 Chevelle was only sold at a few dealerships and in very small numbers, which makes it a highly sought-after collector's item today. The Copo 427 Chevelle was made because drag racing was becoming more popular in the 1960s. Chevrolet saw an opportunity to make a high-performance car that could compete with the Ford Mustang and Plymouth Barracuda. The Copo 427 Chevelle was meant to be a no-holds-barred performance machine, and it was. The Copo 427 Chevelle was only available with a manual transmission, and it had a high-performance camshaft, 4.10 gears, and a dual exhaust system, among other things, to improve its performance. Even though the Copo 427 Chevelle could go from 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds and finish the quarter mile in 13.4 seconds, it was not a commercial success. Chevrolet only made about 200 of the cars, and most of them went to racing teams and private collectors. Today, the Copo 427 Chevelle is one of the most sought-after muscle cars on the market, with originals selling for more than $1 million. 2. 1981 Chevrolet Camaro Yenko Z28 Turbo Z the 1981 Chevrolet Camaro Yenko Z28 Turbo Z was a limited edition performance car. It was named after the man who made it, Don Nanko, and was based on the Camaro Z28. The Turbo Z was powered by a turbocharged 350 cubic inch V8 engine that made around 300 horsepower. Only 83 of these cars were made, making them very rare and collectible today. The fiberglass hood and rear deck lid made the Turbo Z much lighter than the standard Camaro. Despite being a race car, the Turbo Z was quite comfortable and well-equipped for a performance car. It had power windows, locks, and seats, as well as air conditioning and an AM and FM radio. If you find a Camaro Yenko Turbo Z for sale today, be prepared to pay a high price. These cars are very hard to find and are very valuable to collectors. One. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Yenko SC 
1969, Chevrolet Camaro Yenko SCUE cars are as famous as the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Yenko SC. This muscle car was made out of a desire to make the ultimate performance machine, and it did just that with its huge engine and amazing specs. The Camaro Yenko Southeast quickly became a legend on the racetrack, but the Camaro Yenko SC didn't just win races, it also won the hearts of gearheads all over the world. This card is truly special, and its story is worth telling. Here are some fun facts about the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Yenko AC that you need to know. Don Yanko was a well-known racer who wanted to build a Camaro that could compete with the best. To do this, he used the Copo Central Office Production Order System. This system let him order cars with special engines and equipment that weren't available to the general public. In other words, he could build the ultimate Camaro, and that's exactly what he did. The Camaro Yanko SC had almost twice as much power as a regular Camaro. It was a real beast. Don Yanko's name is synonymous with high-performance cars. He was a pioneer in the world of aftermarket tuning, and his work helped define an entire industry. He was born in 1929 in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. He was the son of a Chevrolet dealer, so he grew up around cars. He had a passion for speed from a young age, and he started racing cars when he was just a teenager. His father's dealership was one of the largest in the country, so he used his position to get access to some of the best cars and parts. He started to modify and tune cars for customers, and his reputation for making fast cars grew quickly. In 1967, Yenko created the Yenko Camaro during the 1970s, Yanko continued to build some of the fastest cars in the world. He also got into drag racing and helped to promote NHRA funny car racing. Yanko died in 1987, but his legacy lives on. His name is still associated with performance cars, and his work has inspired a new generation of tuners and builders. Until next time, don't forget to click the bell icon to get updates on new videos. Thank you for watching.